touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Coming up on five minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines touchdown. to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS 131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy, and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station systems cooling properly. Discovery brings home with it the last large return load from the station, two tons of used equipment. Third time's a charm as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using